Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alex Jubail here and I'm back with a video. And today's video is actually all about the Steam Deck. I've had mine for about a month now. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I actually just traveled from Orlando to Las Vegas for EVO uh, uh, Fighting Game Championships uh, over in uh, Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay. And I was hooked on this thing. Every free chance I got, I was playing in my room. I was connected to the TV. So on today, I wanted to kind of show you if you're already owning a Steam Deck, I have found these are the best travel accessories and the best dedicated Steam Deck bag that I found for it. So again, I'm absolutely loving this thing. You know, for scale, you know, this is pretty thick bag. I have a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to show you everything that I'm able to fit in it. I usually would travel before I got the Steam Deck with my actual a Switch. I currently have the OLED and, uh, you know, this old Sheikah tablet from uh, Breath of the Wild, you know, holds my Switch, holds all the cartridges, it holds extra cartridges here because I have a lot of games for it, and obviously this, and you can fit like a power cable and a charger, and that's pretty much it. Now, with the Steam Deck obviously being, I would say, about 30% larger than the Switch OLED or Switch itself, uh, you need a much bigger bag, and for the Evo Vegas trip, I actually traveled with putting it in its actual carry case that comes with the Steam Deck. Uh, big case, you know, a little too big. It basically filled up my main pocket in my uh, actual Astro backpack that I travel with. But now that I have this as a sling bag, I actually love sling bags. Um, really loving this case. I highly recommend it, actually, the quality of it. So I kind of want to talk about the case, everything that's inside, why I think the Steam Deck is now the ultimate portable machine, especially when you think about Switch. You have, you know, disc cartridges still, the PSP back in the day. The Vita went more, uh, you know, more digital. But the fact that you don't have to take any cartridges with you, just your micro SD card and your internal storage, and you can load this bad boy up. So again, been in love with this thing. I've been messing around with emulators, AAA titles like Elden Ring, uh, trying fighting games out. And I have an adapter also I'm going to go over it with you. But this case actually on Amazon, I bought it last week. It is $44. I'll have all the links to all these items below and I will have referral links in case you are interested in picking these up. But I've been recommending a lot of this to my friends and this case I absolutely love. I saw quite a few options on Amazon, but this looked like the sturdiest where I could actually fit some important documents in it while I'm traveling and have a, you know, still have a carry on to fit my laptop, my extra chargers, all my other accessories that I would travel with, mouse, you know, uh, you know, charging stations I have when I travel abroad. And, but this case is gonna be my now go-to with the Steam Deck. I'm gonna take, I'm actually going overseas to London uh, next weekend uh, for the Pokemon World Championship. So back to traveling very consistently again. Uh, that's what I do for a living. If you don't know, I run fighting game tournaments of my own brand, plus for DreamHack. Uh, and next week we'll be for Pokemon, for Pokemon tournaments. So I'm really excited about that. But you know, this bag has a weird name. It's called the MVR PDXC carrying case for Steam Deck console accessories. Now you can't fit too much in the accessory department, but the way it protects the Steam Deck itself is uh, pretty awesome. So I actually recommend this thing. It has a, not a hard shell, but this will definitely, you know, be able to drop it. Uh, you don't want to drop this obviously being a very expensive device that you can have a very hard time finding, but has a nice little carry handle. I thought is really cool to carry it, but you know, this strap loosens up pretty well. It's super comfortable. I've had no problems uh, taking it off and on and barely feel it on my back actually with this going over my shoulder, super sturdy strap. But what's super cool is it does have a pocket here. Now in the images, it kind of makes you think it's here on the actual, you know, sleeve itself, but on the back and it's super padded. So it has air uh, to, you know, kind of not make you sweat so much when it's on your back uh, through long days outside. But in this front zipper here, I'm actually able to fit my wallet where I have everything in here. A couple $1 bills to cover the uh, real cash. Uh, ID and everything. This is my go-to wallet. This is a Fidelo wallet I like. You can actually push that and push out all your cards. Um, so super cool thing there. And then have my ID in one pocket. My uh, This is my I, uh, QR code business card that you can actually scan with all my information on it. So, or NFC chip and put a hotel room key in here. So I have that. This is my wallet that I carry around. I'm also able to fit my actual passport uh, for when traveling. I got my vaccination card, my global entry card. You can put some cash in a sleeve here and then actual passport to go with. So obviously you want to keep this safe. You do not lose this when you travel abroad. Don't really need your ID so much, but I do carry both of those when I do travel. And then here's a backup iPhone 11 Pro Max actually. So full size 6.5 inch screen iPhone, my old uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Commando K shooting off of the bazooka with the new three lens. So, but yeah, so I'm actually able to fit all these. Most likely I have my phone in my pocket, but for plain purposes, having ease of use to get to your Steam Deck, this bag is amazing so far. So now we're gonna open it up. It has two zippers. I was seeing some reviews saying the zippers get stuck. I have not had any issues so far. So these zippers are pretty solid. Um, so take this off. No other pockets except this main pocket, which has everything, but boom, 
This is everything you have. This is the Steam Deck. I'll get to that in a second, but first my accessories that I'm carrying around. Now, first I'm gonna show you the wires that I carry. I do carry a USB-C to C. Uh, this is a power uh, display cable, 100 watts, uh, to basically hook it up to a monitor uh, through USB-C, if you have USB-C monitor uh, when you're traveling, but also with the device I'm about to show you, the GAN charger, which you can do. So um, here is the actual 45 watt Steam charger that I, I was actually using on my seat on my Delta flight where they had those little plugs underneath it. You just plug it in, it was perfect range. I was able to play my Steam Deck while charged and it got about 50% in about 45 minutes, uh, but had no issues playing at the same time as charging. So the Steam Deck, I did put it to its paces. It ran about three hours on the plane, uh, mixing around with emulators, playing Elden Ring for like half an hour, switching up 45% brightness. So you get good battery life for something that's basically a mini gaming PC in your pocket. Um, so there's that one. And then in here, I have my AirPods Pro Max. Uh, this is a nice Kingdom Hearts case from Square Enix shop I bought a while ago. Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite games, but boom. So I have my AirPods here, shower with these. Easy to connect. Actually, I have a Razer headset that has a USB-C dongle I put into the top of the Steam Deck itself and boom, it instantly connected the sound. It was great quality. This is being Bluetooth, doesn't just work on iPhone stuff. Also connect via Bluetooth. And I've put together like six devices in terms of controllers straight to the Steam Deck. So you can hook up multiple wireless controllers. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then this is what I have been highly recommending to everybody. This is actually called the Ace Fast. And I saw this on another video, I believe it was Richard Gamecore. Ace Fast GAN PD 65 watt three port USB-C hub. Now, what's beautiful about this, you know, the official Steam Deck uh, charge right here is 45 watts. This is 65 watts. So with that, it has three ports on this thing. It has a USB-C for your power. It has a USB-A, so you can plug in like a peripheral, like a fight stick, as I did while I was in Vegas on a monitor. And then it actually has HDMI out. So this right here is your new Switch or even Steam Deck portable dock. You don't have to carry the big Steam, uh, you know, the big Switch dock if you want to connect to a TV. And I tested this. Works beautifully. I've done it on a 4K monitor, a 1080p monitor, a portable monitor, uh, and so far so good. Uh, and I can go in more depth with those videos if you'd like to see more examples of me connecting and stuff. But this Ace Fast charger is $49.99, comes in white or black on Amazon. I'll have that also linked below. I absolutely love this thing. This is going everywhere with me because you can plug in your Steam Deck via USB-C. Then you use the HDMI out and connect it to a monitor and then you get a display out. So again, portable dock on the go, which is awesome. And what I did with this USB-A, be cool if they had another one of these, which it kind of acts like a USB-C hub, an extra USB in. That way you can play uh, two fight sticks connected via USB into your Steam Deck, which was super duper cool. But the fact that it HDMI is out directly from this, you know, very portable uh, power brick that's 65 watts more enough to power, uh, you know, your probably MacBook Air, your uh, Switch and everything uh, smaller than, you know, a big beefy MacBook Pro, uh, which is pretty awesome, you know, so right there. So this number one recommendation device to take if you are traveling with your Steam Deck a lot, so. And then the beauty of it, now this bag, like I said, super comfortable to put on your shoulders, also takes really good care of your Steam Deck. As you can see, the Steam Deck is here. It is basically tied really tight with that right there. And if you move it around, it does not move. That's the zippers moving for you. So show an example how awesome this case is. Now it's even better. You still see you have a little bit of space. You can probably lay something flat like a notebook or uh, even more cables if you want, and then close this. Uh, this being nice felt, uh, comfy material, obviously looks a little disheveled all over the place, but super comfy material, so it's not gonna scratch the back of it. But taking it out, favorite thing is when you do take it out, you do kind of have to dig in. You pull this out, what's super cool is Steam Deck's right there. It actually has, you can see right here, the indents for the thumbsticks. So this actually tested it. It's not pushing them in or anything. It's actually keeping them very safely there. Plus you've got these little cutouts for the, uh, you know, the D-pad right here and then the buttons right here, the A, X, Y, B. And what's super cool is this is a nice felt feeling. Um, it did have a couple strings loose. I used a lighter just to burn them off so they weren't hanging all over the place. But otherwise, a pretty good case and you know, having a hard time using all my might to kind of push that in. So you're not gonna be crushing this thing at all. My chest is actually hurting from flexing this. Um, but super duper cool that you can do that. And again, this travel case, being able to fit all this is amazing. Now to kind of give you an example of all the other accessories I do travel with, I did take my custom controller chaos Xbox Series X controller, uh, basically doing Bluetooth straight into the Steam Deck. It runs it right there. I can actually turn this thing on for you and kind of show you. Power that up right there. Steam Deck is on, no glare. And then boom, I'm already actually in this thing. Now there are a few things you lose. You lose the haptic feedback here. Uh, you won't be able to use those at all, but 
Otherwise, I was playing this connected to the TV with an Ace Fast, playing all my games, playing my emulator and stuff I thought was super duper cool. So awesome thing to carry around as an Xbox controller. If you want something a little smaller, the 8-bit dough. Uh, gamepad, this is Bluetooth, hooks up to your Switch, PC, Android even, and iPhone. It'll, it takes a little getting used to connecting with you, you hold like start and Y, but little portable controller. This doesn't fit in the bag with everything else, but still has everything there. Now, if you're an emulator guy like me, um, Bluetooth mouse, highly recommend. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. I actually use this for travel now because I can switch between a MacBook. Basically has three profiles right here. I can hit one, two, or three. One goes to my Windows PC, uh, two downstairs goes to my MacBook mini uh, or Mac mini. And then three would go to like my iPhone or iPad if I want to move around faster. But this lets you navigate through your Steam Deck's uh, Linux desktop mode a lot quicker. Uh, but yeah, and then also another accessory, I'll toss this in here. This is a 61 watt travel adapter. Uh, you know, in the early days, I used to go to the Middle East and Lebanon and I actually plugged in a Game Gear charger, not knowing I was in a different country and it basically burnt out the system. So lesson learned then, obviously now a lot of the plugs all over the world are kind of universal, especially the USB A's and now C's. This will be the first time three years I go overseas. Uh, but this thing is super duper cool because it actually has three USB A's, USB C, and then a USB C six, uh, 61 watt power for your laptop, even Steam Deck. So you got to bring your own cables. But what's cool is you can actually just use this at home. You push this in, you push it out. Boom, there's your little US adapter, push that back in, UK adapter, and you don't have to worry about uh, voltages from you know 110 to 220, and then obviously another one for Europe. So super duper cool, I used this, uh, an older version of this that wasn't uh, power, super powerful, but uh, I was traveling overseas and it worked like a charm, I was able to charge everything, work, and then you can plug in your laptop or another charger in here. So just to kind of give you an example, the Ace Fast. So when I travel, I'm gonna be testing this out, but you basically just, Plug it in. Oh, oh, where are you? Oh, it's actually, oh, that's cool. It has protectors that'll protect it. It won't let you push it in until you have this out. So that's super cool. So you can't like mess around with that, but super duper cool. You know, you have that. Let's try another angle. Yep. So you actually got to push some force. So super cool right there to be able to do that. Plug it in. Um, so great internationally. If you don't travel internationally, you don't really need this. But when you're at home, you can actually also use it at your house if you want for a much faster charger with a bunch of USB ports. So, but yeah, I kind of want to show you my accessories of this. I can talk in future videos about all the emulation, but I am absolutely loving the Steam Deck because, you know, hit the Steam button right here. I can go to my library, which is massive. Cute little shortcut right here. You hold this button here, the options button, and you hold up, it'll actually brighten your screen for you with the left thumbstick. So lots of shortcuts that they did. Hold the Steam button, press X, you can pull up a keyboard. So super cool device. This is more than just a Switch that plays dedicated games. This is can be your portable PC. I, you know, obviously would want to use a laptop, but I have all these different emulators right here and I will show you without going into too much detail. Um, I used to collect retro games. Now the emulation obviously is not the right way to go. You do have to find your own ROMs. I will never link to those. I'll never play like the Switch Yuzu on here because I own a Switch. But uh, being able to play a lot of retro games, been playing PS2 guys, absolutely flawlessly. I was running through Tekken 4 and 5. Uh, what's cool is I spent a long time actually curating all of these images and videos through within the app itself because if you go to mudeck.com it installs everything you need on this device uh and then you get your own roms you plug in i was plugging whoops <laughs> i was plugging in my USB C. sorry for all those who, who just cringed at that USB C uh thumb drive that i have i have a sandus 2 terabyte ssd from my windows pc putting all the roms and files on there plugging in here and then going into desktop mode uh which is super easy you go through power and then it'll switch over to a desktop mode, show you an example how quick this is. Oh, so there are little bugs with the emulators. You'd have to exit the game. But before I exit, kind of show you, you know, running through, having all these different emulators and ROMs, just being able to jump through games is, has been nothing short of phenomenal. I'll go into a Dreamcast game for you. I'll go into one of my favorite games of all time, Capcom versus SNK2, loads it right up for you. And again, being able to use this charger with the USB-A out, I was actually able to plug in my fight stick to the monitor and actually play fighting games generally as if I was playing on a laptop or a console. So, you know, just for everything this thing does, oh, when the music was good, everything runs perfectly. It's just a man that if I want to back out, start select, basically it backs right out, you know, so all of my childhoods basically on this thing, again, steam deck, Kind of, if you guys want to see more videos like this, you know, I really love this device. I'm not going to take my switch for this next trip. Just going to travel with my steam deck to kind of keep me busy. It's a nine hour flight, uh, run through the gamut actually. And what's cool is I can play all these emulators. 
But when, you know, I, I kind of go through them just for the nostalgia. I haven't really played any like old school RPGs, but the fact that I can back out, go to my folder of everything is, is pretty amazing, guys. So the fact that I have Axiom Verge here, uh, you know, I've been going through that, great on deck. So this actually tells you what games are awesome to play here. So I think it's super cool, you know, going through all these first party games. And when you do the HDMI out, it'll actually let you scale your screen. I can show you examples in a future video. It'll let you scale the screen so you can actually fit all of your games, uh, you know, no problems at all. So super cool. I actually absolutely love this thing. If you are able to get one, I highly recommend it. Do you need the 512, which is the max one? You do get an anti-glare screen, uh, which I think is great, especially if, you're, if you happen to play outdoors or you're under light uh, on a plane or something like that. Um, but so far, guys, absolutely killer device going to collections again. Just switching around, just having all these games to be able to go from, you know, emulators to old school games to actual PC third party games. Uh, it really feels like the best device that's ever been made for portables. You could get those mini Windows PCs, but the fact that Steam is, is updating this almost every week, adding stuff to it, making it so easy to play with uh, and, you know, add future content is a it's a really super cool thing. So. That's it for this video. Kind of run through my accessory bag. Uh, highly recommend this bag. I'm gonna take it, and then if I have any problems, I'll let you guys know in the comments below. But I think I am going to have a great time just traveling with this. Uh, I'm still gonna take a carry-on to put my laptop and an extra like clothes for the long trip, and then I'll have this over on my back and uh, keep it safe and comfortable, and have all my go-to accessories, and then just you know pull out the Steam Deck when I'm ready to play on the plane. So until next time, guys, take care.